in the lab or sitting with our journals, you know, it sometimes it's hard to remember that, you know, there are actual patients involved. And there are family members who are taking their desperately sick relatives or spouses to the doctor with hope. And if we can actually have a meaningful drug, that's what it's all about. Cancer cells are really very stressed cells. They're growing in places of the body that are unnatural. They don't have enough oxygen. They're hypoxic. Their DNA is mutated. And these are all signals that would tell a normal cell to die. But cancer cells have evolved mechanisms to get around this. When we start a program, it's like you're heading into a jungle or starting to climb a mountain where you can't see the peak. You know it's going to be challenging. The question is how challenging, and it's not until one does some basic exploration that one starts to understand exactly how challenging it may be. But that same basic exploration reveals science that says this target's not interesting or this target is so interesting that we have to commit our resources. Well, we started research in an area called aging and degenerative disease research. So we actually thought at one point that we would um, begin an osteoporosis effort, but we saw cancer as a greater medical need. Those few programs in aging and degenerative disease became the core of what would eventually become the Oncology Discovery Organization. We were all new to oncology. So our first generation compounds, which we and others worked on for years, these all showed moderate activity in mouse models. And we and others took them into clinical trials where they failed. And one of the important things we learned is we're not looking for moderate activity in mouse models. We are looking for strong, robust activity. So that really started what I would call our true oncology program. That's when we started to work on apoptosis, for example. Apoptosis is the process by which cells die, and it occurs all the time in our body. There are numerous pathways. We chose to work on one of them, which are mitochondrial proteins. And these are proteins that block apoptosis. We're at a wonderful place. I think we are at the top of the mountain and we can start to look around and we can start to say, you know, we have already demonstrated that we can help patients. Now the question is, how broadly can we help patients? Abby is entirely committed to getting there.